feed the future India triangular training program. A new agriculture partnership was announced between the United States of America and India to achieve evergreen revolution to address global food security during the state visit of the former US President to India in November 2010. Triangular cooperation between US, India, Africa was established to provide technological advances and innovative solutions to address food security challenges in Africa. The pilot program covered three African countries, that is Kenya, Liberia and Malawi, with the potential to expand throughout the African continent in the future. National Institute of Agriculture Extension Management, MANAGE, Hyderabad, and National Institute of Agricultural Marketing, NIAM, Jaipur, conducted seven training programs covering 219 executives from Kenya, Liberia, and Malawi. The training themes were, namely, New Dimensions in Agricultural Extension Management and Agricultural Marketing. The two-month program included classroom sessions, field visits, including places of cultural importance across the country. The knowledge gained during training was put into practice in the field. The results were phenomenal and proved potential of transforming the lives of the farming community. Post-training participant surveys were conducted in Kenya, Liberia and Malawi by managed team to assess the impact of these training programs and the results were beyond expectations. Manage organized national conventions in Kenya, Liberia and Malawi which created a lot of awareness among the African countries and considerable enthusiasm from the prospective countries to participate in similar training programs. As a result, Feed the Future India Triangular Training on 25th July 2016 at New Delhi. Feed the Future India Triangular Training Program is a collaborative initiative between United States of America, represented by USAID, and the Government of India, represented by MANAGE. With this address, I would like to take this opportunity to declare the Feed the Future Indian Triangular Training Program as having been launched. The objectives of the program were to address human and institutional capacity gaps in agriculture and allied sector to achieve food and nutritional security in select African and Asian countries. At NIPHM, we are conducting this program entitled Food Safety and Plant Biosecurity. Basically, this program is intended towards capacity building all the, all the officers on the issues which are related to WTO, SPS agreement, land biosecurity issues and also food safety issues. MANAGE is identified as a lead institution for implementation of Feed the Future India Triangular Training Program. Demand analysis survey conducted by experts indicated training priorities of partner countries and we could able to link the training priorities of partner countries with expert institutions available within the country. Today, MANAGE is working with 22 expert institutions, mostly Indian Council of Agriculture Research and other national and state government organizations. In partnership with ICR organizations, MANAGE is organizing several training programs. More than 60% of the time will be spent in the field acquiring hands-on experience, best experts and best study material is provided to the participants and field visits only enrich the experiential learning of the executives. Lifetime subscription of a journal which is relevant to the theme of the training program is also provided to every executive who is undergoing training under Feed the Future India Triangular Training Program to enrich their professional contribution. Pre and post training tests are also conducted to assess the impact of the training program on the knowledge of the executives who are undergoing training. The program aims at creating in the field in their respective countries in service of the farmers through implementation of back at work plans. 17 countries are covered in FTFITT program of which six are from Asia, namely Afghanistan, Cambodia, Lao PDR, Mongolia, Myanmar, Vietnam, and 11 African countries, namely Botswana, Ghana, Kenya, Liberia, Malawi, Rwanda, Democratic Republic of Congo, Mozambique, Sudan, Tanzania, and Uganda. 
1,400 professionals to be trained till the year 2020 through 44 training programs, of which 32 training programs of 15 days are in country India and 12 training programs of 10 days each in third countries. It's a multi-country program. Demand-driven training themes based on the demand analysis conducted in all 17 partner countries. Training programs are conducted at reputed agriculture organizations in India and abroad. Pre- and post-training evaluation. Training by subject experts. Customized study materials. 60% of the training program is through field visits. Lifetime professional journal subscription. Back at work project. Participants are also exposed to places of historical and cultural importance. FTF-ITT program is also known as multi-country program wherein we try to bring all the executives together through cultural program for global harmony. Cultural evening, culture for global harmony. Program Partnership Summit was organized with the objective to bring all the FTFITT program stakeholders to discuss, brainstorm and plan the future programs. Individual country training need assessment was done at Manage by inviting all partner countries, point of contact POCs, Indian partner institutes, USAID India, ambassadors of partner countries and officials of government of India. Of 22 programs completed, two programs were successfully conducted at Afghanistan on e-extension, ICT applications in agricultural extension management, and at Uganda on entrepreneurship development among rural women. Both the programs were highly appreciated by governments of Afghanistan and Uganda. I must thank the Indian government for thinking about Uganda among the many African countries as on 31st March 2018, 22 training programs under Feed the Future India Triangular Training Program have been completed, involving 14 countries, trained 580 executives representing agriculture, horticulture, fisheries, agricultural engineering, extension, agricultural marketing, plant protection, policy, information technology in agriculture, The welcome news, however, is that we have learned a lot from the program and it is now incumbent upon us to go back home to implement what we have learned. And you gave up the adequate uh, education and we got educated enough that when we get back to our country, I'm from Liberia, West Africa, when we get back to our country, we'll be able to practice those things that I've learned from here. Back at Work Project is an integral part and unique feature of Feed the Future India Triangular Training Program. 
Every executive who undergo training in this program must identify one technology or activity that can be transferred to back their home country to address local problems. The Back at Work project is a social commitment of every executive who train under Feed the Future India Triangular Training Program. The Back at Work project results are overwhelming and the impact is stupendous. Back at Work project reports. Process waste valorization of maize husks and discarded maize cobs. Ms. Rose from Uganda, trained by Indian Institute of Horticultural Research, IIHR, India, working on transforming agricultural and horticultural waste on the field into animal feed. Puzzled by the huge amount of maize crop waste generated, such as husks, cobs, and volatile prices in Uganda, Ms. Rose came up with a plan to process and add value to the waste through valorization method learned from Indian Institute of Horticultural Research, IIHR India. The executive has researched on the nutritional composition of maize cob and selected it as the main raw material. She brought forward all the maize farmers on a collective action for feed production activity to meet high local demand of piggery feed. The piggery feed is produced using maize cob flour, soybean flour, seashell powder, iodized salt and organic boosters, which is later brand packed and sold to markets. The executive shares the profit with the farmers for their raw material. Technological Intervention in Cassava Cultivation at Kenya Ms. Mwafungo Gladys Murira and Mr. Tika Nelson Nagugi, Senior Agricultural Officers from Kenya, trained under Feed the Future India Triangular Training Program at ICAR, Central Tuber Crop Research Institute on Production and Post-Harvest Technologies for Tuber Crops. With the Indian learning experience, executives were successful in organizing many trainings to farmer groups in Kenya and introduced various tuber crop technologies on field, such as rapid multiplication healthy cassava planting materials through use of mini set technology, improved cassava varieties developed at KALRO, Kenya Agriculture and Livestock Research Organization, cassava harvesters and cassava processing and packaging of processed products. Cassava gross marginal profits for both tuber production and dried chips production has increased in Kenya due to increased awareness on mini sets technology and value addition in cassava. Machinery for fish descaling. Mr. Salim, fishery researcher from Malawi, trained on fisheries technology at ICAR Central Institute of Fisheries Technology, Cochin, Kerala. He succeeded in transferring fish descaling technology from India to back home country Malawi. He refabricated fish descaling machine locally for the benefit of fishery groups, mainly local women. To sensitize smallholder farmers about farm mechanization, Mr. Chiumba Matthews Mike, Agriculture Officer from Malawi, trained by Central Institute of Agriculture Engineering in Bhopal, India. He has focused on popularizing small-scale technologies which help smallholder farmers in Malawi. He has introduced maize sheller and many other implements to increase the efficiency and reduce wastage in post-harvest and processing. In addition, he has trained other colleagues on technologies learned in India and formed groups of farmers. Collective Action for Profitable Dairy Farming in Kenya Ms. Morara Mary Kerubo, Principal Agriculture Officer from Kenya, trained by Kudumbashree Mission Kerala, she adopted Kudumbashree model at Kenya for collective milk production, processing and marketing. The groups she formed are being linked to an established processor in the neighboring county Kiambu for continuous buying activities for around 450 liters of milk per month, yielding good profit to the group. Fish Preservation with Ice Mr. David, Principal District Fisheries Officer from Uganda, trained by ICAR Central Institute of Fisheries Technology on recent trends in harvest and post-harvest technology in fisheries. On return back to the country, he has trained around 147 Ugandans 
comprising 63 female and 84 male, in creating awareness and capacity building on post-harvest management of fish, cage farming of fish, affordable fish smoking technologies and fish feed program. Increased use of ice in fish preservation reduced post-harvest losses from 30% to 15%. Promotion of collective production and marketing of wine from hibiscus. Mr. Tony, a monitoring and evaluation specialist from Uganda, trained by Kudumba Shri India under Feed the Future India Triangular Training, has successfully formed three rural women agribusiness enterprises by sensitizing around 30 women about collective approach of self-help groups and its benefits to their livelihoods. He has trained the local women and men in quality management, labeling and packaging of wine from hibiscus for selling at profitable rates. Today, the group systematically produces various products such as wine, juice, appetizers and jam. The proceeds after marketing of wine and other products are distributed against recorded raw materials collected by the women members. To sensitize smallholder dairy farmers on herd health and management, Mr. Orenje Juvenali Stivan Kennelly, Principal Livestock Production Officer from Kenya, trained by National Dairy Research Institute India, Based on the Indian experience, he has sensitized many extension officers on livestock health management initiatives, commercialization of dairy management, and has been successful in installing 6,000 liters per day milk capacity processing plant. He has created a good marketing atmosphere between the company and farmers, where the processing plant buys the milk from group of farmers at better negotiated prices per liter. Outreach is an integral part of FTF program. Uh, we have been uh, using social media very effectively such as we are using uh, Facebook, WhatsApp, Twitter and eBulletin. Through Facebook we are reaching more than 3500 members and through eBulletin we are reaching more than 3200 members. From the monitoring and evaluation perspective, data quality management is given utmost importance under Feed the Future India Triangular Training Program. We are maintaining detailed information about all the executives from 17 partner countries, including their bracket work plan reports in management information system. India always believes that knowledge has to be shared with others, and we are not at all, uh, you know, secret about our knowledge. So we are trying to share maximum knowledge to the participants, and the USAID is giving great funding support with their uh, firm conviction to help African as well as Asian countries. This program is implemented through managed with the collaborative support of ICR institutions of our country. Agricultural development is a global challenge and needs to be looked at with a global perspective. 